There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, picture corner, and other stuff too. All right, welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. This is the second video for the Hypercube Evo build that I'm getting ready to do. A lot of the parts just got in today and I'm gonna kinda go through showing all the parts and uh, what I'm gonna be using for this build, so stay tuned. Looking at is the bomb or bill of materials from BD3D Customs, which is uh, basically the Ziltec kit. And then I've also got a few parts that I'm going to be I'm using instead of 12 volt because I'm gonna build a 24 volt system. So up here, we've got some brackets, uh, some T-nuts and a lot of screws some other brackets, and then here's the basically the aluminum extrusion that's gonna be used for the frame, and then you've also got some 2020 extrusion here that's gonna be used for the heated bed. Uh, we've got several stepper motors, I think there's maybe five total, that's gonna be used for the X, the Y, and the Z. And then we've got these really nice aluminum brackets. These are uh, actually something additional that I bought as part of the BD3D custom solution brackets that he sells. We've also got the M3 screws and some couplers, miscellaneous hardware, bearings, basically a bag of that. There are the optical sensors. These are gonna be used for the end stops. Some nice wire. We've got an extruder assembly here. This is all aluminum. And this is a genuine E3D hot end. Comes with a nozzle as well that's kind of floating around in the bag. Uh, the part blower fan, looks like a 5015. There's a sensor here. We've also got the screen, a 12864 LCD. And then there's a, some backlash nuts, or anti-backlash nuts. These are screws for the heated bed. These are the M3 inserts. These are like little wire connectors. I don't know if I'll be using those or not, but they, they were provided. Now here's a lot of the stuff that the kit does come with that I'm not going to be using. So, um, I'll most likely be selling those or hanging on to them for something else. Um, unfortunately, you can't really customize the kit, so you gotta buy it as is. So there's a MOSFET, and this would be used for the, the heated bed. And this is the, looks like the ramps board. So that's gonna be yeah, sitting on top of the mega board which is right here. And then you've got your stepper drivers, which I believe are a 4998s but I'm not positive, but I think that's what they are. Underneath here is the heated bed. It's a DC 12 volt with um, some borosilicate glass. And then we've got a 12 volt Ziltec power supply. This power supply actually looks pretty beefy. So what I'm gonna be using in its place will be um, a Cheetah board. So this is the Cheetah version 1.1. It's a 32-bit board with 2209 steppers. I'll have the link in the description. And then there's also these little basically parallel motor boards. I only need one of these, but it's for the Z-axis. And then I've also got some 24-volt fans here. So part fan, cooling fan. And then I've got a 24-volt power supply in here. I'm not going to take it out. And it's also 360 watts. All right, so this is basically all of the bomb minus maybe a few miscellaneous parts uh, that I'm not showing and that I have to order still. So here here are all the parts that I've got printed that I plan on using. So the red is um, basically the X and Y axis stuff. And then you've got uh, the silver, which is going to be used mostly in the heated bed. And then you've also got, um, I ended up reprinting these because in the silver they were a little warped. But these are uh, the, the carriage for the, uh, the Z axis. And then I kind of have some random things here. I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not, but this is like to hold the switch. I'm not sure how I'm gonna mount that yet, but I could mount this right on the 3030. And then I've got some feet that I printed and TPU as well as top caps. Oh, and then I have the heated bed knobs. One of the things that I really liked about the B3D that he has these really nice aluminum brackets. So these are gonna really stiffen up the Hypercube Evo. You know, they're probably not gonna win any beauty contests and more importantly, they're going to really be nice and sturdy on the frame. So it's gonna help you get even better quality ultimately, less ringing and it's just gonna help stiffen things up really well. I would definitely recommend going with um, a US company if you're in the US. You could possibly save a little bit of money going to China, but uh, are you really gonna get as good a quality? Probably not. Are you gonna get support? Most likely not. You know, then you're also going to be waiting for it for at least a couple weeks. Looking forward to putting this kit together. Next up is to get the cube going.